Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about DSC Touchscreen Security Model PTK5507. So first we'll talk about the welcome screen here. So in this one, at the top is the status of the system. Then here is the stay arm system. So if you want to stay at home, but lock all the doors and uh, turn on your alarm, then that system can be used. Then John status will be to see if all your doors or and windows are locked or not. So if you see this, the green arrow means they are all on a good status. And then I open the front door and now if you see it shows door to be opened. And then there are two different, uh, two other uh, signs that you can see. So one will be uh, tampered. In that one, you will, in that one, you will see tampered as a triangle here with the cross in it. So that's like tampered if someone broke into your house and damaged the sensors. And then there's also one more. So that sign will be uh, something like this like circle and line. So that is for if your uh, zoning or the sensors are at fault. So for example, if you close the lock, but the sensor doesn't catch it that it's properly locked or not, then that's kind of a zone fault. So that's the status for that. Then also you may see a low battery sign in front of uh, any of these ones, then that indicates that the sensors you have may have a low battery and then you just need to change the battery. Now the third one here is a chime enabled or disabled. So if you press this, it will disable the chime. So whenever your door opens or closes, it won't chime or you can turn it back on. Then uh, a keyboard mode. So if I turn it on, so this doesn't show anything on the screen other than only the keypad and then a keypad option. So you can just enter the code whenever you want to arm it or disarm it and that's it then you have option as quick exit so if i press this it won't do anything right now but when the system is armed and if you want to do a quick exit then what it will do is it, it will disarm the system for two minutes and you will have that time to leave so once you open the door and close it back then the alarm system will uh, arm again. So that means you have two minutes to uh, quickly exit, but if you leave at one minute and close the door, then the alarm will uh, activate it again after one minute. So that one minute extra time that was on the clock, it will automatically uh, get canceled. Then you have photos here. So if I press it, it says no photos found, but at the bottom here is the, um, USD card reader. So if you have some pictures you want to put on or display on, uh, you can just put that uh, SD card in and then you can uh, use those photos as a display. So it can be your family pictures or if the system is installed in a restaurant, if you want to put some guidelines or some instructions, then you can put that uh, as well. Then here on the top right is the brand DSC and then the time and the date and then you will see it's, uh, it shows outputs. So in the outputs, there are command options that can be chosen. Uh, it's if your installer, uh, if you ask your installer, they can program it, for example, to open your garage door or reset your smoke detector alarms and all those things. But these are, has to be uh, programmed by your installer. Then I'll go back. Then we'll go to options. So in this one, the first is access codes. So in this one, you have to enter the master code. And now in this one, you can set up multiple uh, user codes. So for one as is as a master code, then two as for example, for your kids whom you don't want to be uh, using this system and tamper with it. So they only know the code to arm and disarm the system. And then third, you can use for your uh, duress, for example, in case of emergency. So if someone is here, if if you got a uh, burglary, right, and, and they don't want you to call police or, or something like that. So 
but the alarm went off and you want to uh, they want you to turn it off so instead of entering your mastery code to disarm the system when you enter your duress code what it does is it will disarm the system but at the same time it will notify your security system so that uh, they can send police or or those emergency services right then i'll open it once again and then uh if i slide through here so you can go like 10 11 12 user codes so for example if someone is coming to to your house but you don't want to give them the main code so you can create a temporary code that can be like a one-time user code and create it so it's like you can create multiple codes depending on how you want to use it then uh here ch chime disabled and enabled as we discussed on the main uh, screen right so it's enabled again then you have an installer menu so this is you this is mainly for installer use only so when they program your system that time they need it and they have their access codes with the with dsc right and then uh, there is a user function so you enter the code it will take you to the master user functions like time and date auto arm time enable dls and all those things so we'll discuss these in detail So now in the first one, the time and date, so you can change the time and date. And then the second is auto arm. So in this one, what it does is that every day, if you want your house to be auto armed, for example, at 11 p.m. And then uh, you can enter the date like Monday to Friday. And then uh, you can set up the time and then enable it. So what it does is it will automatically arm your house at that set time. Now, in enable DLS, it's usually, I'll, I'll just turn it off, but this is for if your installer, they want uh, access from, from a site, and then they, if you enable this system, then they will be remotely able to control your uh, device here. And then the in the event buffer, you can see all the activities for your uh, system that was done. So unlock and all those things so what happened at what time right so this will give you the information how the system was used so if you see come like what what was done so user log and all those things right so this gives you uh, information of events that happened with your system so now in the system test when you press it it will quickly test the communicators so if I press this and then it turns on the alarm and and just test it right and then auto arm control so this will turn off the auto arm turn it and and uh, enable and disable the the auto arm system that you set in the time and then the user call up option is for the installer. So when they connect the unit and that time they need to do some steps. So that's when they use this. Then in the keypad configuration, you can see backlight, buzzer control, picture frame, calibration, clock mode, clean mode, home page, language. So these things gives you all the, all the settings you want to do like backlight for what's the brightness and after how many minutes you want to turn off the screen, right? And then the buzzer control. So volume of all the controls you do on the system so you can increase or decrease the uh, volume then the picture frame that after how many minutes it should uh, go to the wallpaper or the photo you set on the screen and then what's the time out like for how long it should be made. and then for calibration if you if your screen need to be uh, double check that if it's calibrated or not So now as we perform that step, it just calibrates the screen, right? And then the clock mode, it will just gives you the uh, 
option to to go to clock mode and then the clean mode is like if you turn it on then if you want to clean the screen it turns off the screen for like 30 seconds or one minute so when you're cleaning it it won't uh turn on or press any any controls then home page is that how it shows you the main control on the home page then the language of what language you want to choose so english french spanish and all those things right then we'll go back and then uh, as we already discussed the chime enabled and disabled right and then it's the arming so in this one now in this mode uh, the first is stay ar arm so when you're staying at home but you don't want any of the sensors to be used only the doors then you use this one and in away arm all the sensors are activated as well which are motion sensors so if there's any motion in the house that time uh, it will uh, it will uh, turn on the alarm then in the night arm you can choose what sensors to turn off for example if you want to keep your main floor uh, sensors on like the motion sensors but you want to turn off your second floor sensors or certain areas then you can choose that and then when you turn it on so it will it's like more like customized option between stay and away arm and then the quick exit uh, if you press it, then if you even if your house is armed, you will have like two minutes time to leave your house. As soon as you exit and close the door, it will activate back the stay or arm uh, option as you have set. Now in the global away or global arm, so it arms all the partitions in which the user code is assigned to in away mode or stay mode. So for example, if one code is set for multiple uh, areas, and so it's not particularly about your house, for example, it's a multiple uh, residential building or commercial building, then wherever that code activates the alarm to, it will turn uh, on the alarm for, for all those uh, areas. And then in the no entry arm, so this one arms the system with no entry. So as soon as the door opens after this has been turned on, the alarm will trigger. Now the next setting is partition status. So if I press this, in this one, it's not divided into adding any different partitions. So only one, so that's ready to arm. So this is for the main house, but it can be divided into different ones. So as I uh, um, said in, in the global one that it can be set for multiple stores or multiple houses in a residential building or commercial building, then this system can be used. Then in the keypo, uh, keypad mode, if it presses, this just goes to the traditional keypad on the screen and then you can lock or unlock your system. And then you have emergency uh, systems here. So if, as it says, hold button for two seconds to activate arm. So fire, auxiliary or panic. So you can hold that button for two seconds and then it will activate the alarm. So now if this system is connected with your security company and they will automatically send the notification to the fire department to send uh, fire brigades and all. So this emergency uh, uh, system is used in that. Thanks for watching the video. Hope this video gives you the information you were looking for. And if this video helped you in any way, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.